Good day, guys. I've been wanting to try out some of the more complex large language models for a while now. And since my 16 gig stick of RAM has finally arrived, and we've now maxed our old Lenovo IdeaPad 330S-14iKB with 20 gig of RAM, I thought today we would finally take a look at some. In a previous video, we did set up and install Proxmox on this laptop, so we'll be starting from there today. Just as a reminder, we'll be running all of our large language models using only the Intel i3-8130U CPU and not a dedicated graphics card. Let's move over to our Windows 11 laptop and remote into our Proxmox server. So I've just remoted into our Proxmox server using Google Chrome, and you can see it's using very, very little resources idle. The CPU is idling at well under 1% load, and we do have our 20 gig of RAM installed. I think we'll try running the large language models on a Debian VM today. We haven't set one up yet, so we'll have to do that but I have already copied over the installer ISO. We'll just take a look at ISO images. You can see Debian 12, 11, net install. So we'll get started by spinning up a new VM. Let's click create VM at the top. We'll call it LLM, go across to OS. We want Debian, obviously, go over to system, leave that as default, go to disks. And I think we'll set it to around 50 gig. That does sound like a strange size, but we've only got around 57 gig free on our VM pool. So we'll keep it at 50 for now. Go over to CPU, we'll set it to four cores, go over to memory, and I think we'll set it at around 17 gig, which should be more than enough for the models we'll be testing today. Going over to network, I think we'll change it to Intel E1000, and we'll cross to confirm, if it looks about right, we'll go finish. There it is there, it's finished being created. We'll select it on the left, go over to console, and click start now. Do graphical install, make it a bit easier. Might make it full screen, there we go. English, US. American English. The fans have ramped up on my Proxmox server, so it is under load. Keep everything as default. Let's go continue, continue, type in a password, give it a name, we'll just call it LLM, give our user a password. Not too fussed about the time, so we'll just go continue. We'll use the entire disk, nice and easy. It did detect our virtual hard drive. Let's go continue. All files in one partition. Really just keeping everything as default. We do have to click yes, and it's finally installing. It shouldn't take too long. We'll just click continue here. Continue. We won't opt in, just click continue again. I'll hide our little uh, sidebar here. So we don't want a desktop environment. We'll just keep that as command line. But I do want the standard system utilities. And I think I'll also set up SSH server. Go continue. We'll install grubs, click continue again. Select our drive, there's only one. And that should be Debian installed. Let's click continue and it should reboot. There's our grub menu, press enter. And we're in. I'll log in with our user account, LLM and the password. So now we're logged in, I think the first thing we'll do is find out our IP. We can just type in IP space A. We can see it's 192.168.1.147. And our SSH server should automatically be running. So we will exit out of the Proxmox console and we'll remote in using PuTTY. So I just wanna type in the server IP, which was 192.168.1.147. Keep the default port 22 and it is running, accept the key. So to start off, we'll log in as root, su, put the root password in, we'll do apt get update. It should already be up to date since we did just install it, but it's always good to check. Next, we wanna install curl, so apt get install curl, and yes. And we just wanna install Alama. So curl dash fs sl, the install script, so https alama.com slash install.sh. We want to pipe that into shell. So now Alama's finished installing. We'll go back to our Proxmox console. And we'll just type in Alama space serve. That'll start the Alama server. We don't care too much about the output at this time. So we'll go over to summary and that should give us a rough idea of system load. We'll open up our remote session once more. I think we'll split screen it. Hopefully that looks a bit better. And we'll start by grabbing our first large language model. Do Alama space run and the model name. And I think we'll start with Llama 3.2. Llama 3.2 colon latest. So that's not too big, it is only two gig. We'll come back when it's finished downloading. It's finished downloading and it did automatically start the model, but I'll quickly quit out of it, so slash buy, and I'll rerun it with verbose so we can actually see some statistics. So similar to before, Alama run double dash V R B O S E space the model name. We'll start off with an easy question. What is the capital of Australia? Just keep an eye on the CPU load. We can see it is almost at 100%. So I got that right. It took 12 seconds. 
with an evaluation rate of around three tokens a second. So not too bad. We'll give it something a little bit more complex. Summarize Wizard of Oz. This will test its overall knowledge. It seems to be spitting it out at around one word a second, which isn't terrible by any means, but it is a fair bit slower to something like Google Gemini or Facebook's Meta. It is absolutely thrashing our CPU, by the way, while it's doing this. But it is using under 8 gig of RAM, including the OS. So that's uh, pretty good. So that took a little bit longer, around 2 minutes 40 seconds. And we did only get around 2.26 tokens a second. So a little bit slower than before. We'll ask it one more question just to test. A doctor is to a hospital as a teacher is to a... It should be school, obviously. See if it gets it right. And it did. This time we got around two and a half tokens a second. It's definitely not terribly slow. It is usable, but uh, it's not as fast as the super high-end ones. We'll quit out of Llama 3.2 and we'll try something a lot harder to run. DeepSeek R17 Bill. This model seems to be just under five gig. Now that's finished downloading. We'll start with the same simple question. What is the capital of Australia? You can see with this model, we are using over 14 gig of RAM. So it's uh, almost twice as much RAM as the last one. Got the answer correct, but it did take quite a bit longer. 18 seconds total at only 1.35 tokens a second. We'll ask it to summarize Wizard of Oz. The last one did take around two minutes, 40 seconds. So I'm expecting this to take even longer. One interesting thing with DeepSeek is it does tell you what it's thinking at the time, but it is obviously quite slow as well. It's finally finished. It took a little over eight minutes and the summary wasn't as detailed as Llama 3.2, but it did mention it wasn't sure quite what the question meant. So that's probably why. If I was a bit more specific and told it to summarize the plot of the 1939 movie, it probably would have done a lot better. We also only got around one token a second. So that's why it took so long. We'll try again with our logic question. A doctor is to a hospital as a teacher is to... DeepSeek was really overthinking this one. You can see it took over 21 minutes at just under one token a second, but we did get almost two full pages of output. It was very thorough, which isn't a bad thing, but when running it on such a low end device, you definitely don't want as much critical thinking. And instead just want a quick answer. We'll quit out of DeepSeek and we'll try our last model for today, Quen3 4 Bill. This is another fairly small one coming in at just under three gig. Finished downloading, we'll start with our first question. What is the capital of Australia? Something nice and easy. This is another model that likes to tell you its thought process. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does definitely slow it down. It's finally done. That took just over six and a half minutes at only one and a half tokens a second. We did also get almost a full page of thinking, but I did eventually output the correct answer. We'll ask it to summarize Wizard of Oz. I'm expecting this to take around 20 minutes, if I had to guess. This was surprisingly a lot faster than I expected. A little under seven and a half minutes, and we were still getting around one and a half tokens a second. The summary also seemed to mention all the key plot points. To round it off, we'll also ask it the same question. A doctor is to a hospital as a teacher is to what? Once again, that took around six and a half minutes at around one and a half tokens a second. It didn't seem to think as much as DeepSeek, which is probably why it was a lot faster. I think we'll leave it there for today. Llama 3.2 was definitely the clear winner here, at least with the questions that we asked. But you could see both DeepSeek and Quen3 did a lot more thinking before answering the question. And although it didn't pay off today, I could see it being a lot better in certain situations. These are some of the biggest models that I've ever tested. And unfortunately, having a fair bit of RAM didn't seem to help too much when our CPU was struggling. Again, these were all ran using the Intel i3-8130 CPU from back in 2018. And you would obviously get a lot better performance using a modern CPU. I personally wouldn't be too upset if I had to use Llama 3.2 running locally on this low-end server. I would just have to make sure I'm not in a rush. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.